Hey everybody, so I'm just going to do a quick unboxing video here. I'm going to unbox the Samsung Gear VR. And so this is the one that works with the Note 5, the S6 Edge Plus, the S6, and the S6 Edge. And it's also the one that you're going to get if you pre-order an S7. So there's that deal right now. If you pre-order an S7, you're going to get a Gear VR for free. I picked it up at Best Buy here in Vancouver in Canada for about 110 Canadian. It was on sale, so probably you can probably get it. I'm going to imagine around 100 US or something like that should be the price point. So that's uh, this is the device that needs your Samsung phone, your premium phone to work and has powered with some Oculus stuff. I guess this is the stuff that Carmack's working on right now pretty hard. That's uh, he says is his main uh, gig at Oculus is mobile. And uh, I've tried a, I've tried a bunch of experiences in the in the gear, and it's actually you know what surprisingly good for what it is, especially if you already have like a mainstream you know Samsung phone. So I mean it's obviously not the premium VR experience, but honestly, um, for the price point, especially if you already have one of those phones, it's pretty cool. The fact that it's mobile, you know, that you can carry it around and show it to people is uh, is also great. So what do we got in here? So it's, I don't know about you guys, but I love peeling off the plastic. This is one of the most satisfying things about unboxing ever. Just this, anything that has this kind of plastic on it, it's just like super satisfying. Oh, there's a little bit more there. You're always kind of tempted to leave it on because it's gonna, everything looks so nice when it's on. And as soon as you take it off, it's gonna get fingerprints all over it. Oh, it's caught under there. It's not easy. Cool, so uh, yeah, there's this plate on here which I think comes off, right? Yeah, so that just comes off. And there's another piece of plastic on the inside. Doesn't seem to serve a whole lot of purpose there, I think. And what else do we got here? A, B here. There's the USB port. And I guess this is the IPD adjustment here, which is one nice thing that, you know, you're gonna have with the gear. It's probably a very fine motion to, I guess it's IPD. Oh no, it's changing the distance, so it's not an IPD change. It's a, you can maybe see that there when I scroll it, it moves back and forth. I always thought that was an IPD adjustment. Okay, so we got the headset with this cover here and it looks like we get some straps. That's probably the top strap and the, t and the, and the side straps there. Um, they look pretty standard. Let's have a look. Yeah, nothing special there. No, yeah, it's the side straps. And that's about it, actually. There's not a whole lot in here. User manual. Um, obviously not that interesting. And that's it. So I, I thought that there was a bag because I think that the other Gear VR came with this um, bag that you could carry it around and protect it a little bit. And oh, it looks like there's some more plastic protecting the lenses. But you know, I would have expected like maybe a lens cleaning cloth or the bag to help you carry it around since the killer app for VR is showing it to your friends. Um, you know, I would have thought that that's the case. It looks like there's some sensors right here. I guess that's probably to indicate, same as on the Vive, where you can tell whether the headset's on the person or not. Maybe that's when you run your experience, I think. Yeah, the facial interface is removable. That's good, you can clean it, replace it. Uh, here's the touchpad. I can see that with the light. Let me see if I can get some contrast on that for you. Yeah, a little bit there. 
and it's no, there's no buttons on it, it's just a touchpad. And then there's a, what looks like a back button, there's a little symbol, again you can't see, it's kind of washed out with all the light. Um, here maybe I can expose for that, there we go, that's better. Cool, so yeah, you can see there that there's this little back button here. And uh, yeah, then there is these up and down here, which I assume are volume. So you can adjust the volume in the headset, that's good. Nothing on this side besides logos. And uh, I wonder if those are vents. Oh, there's another little thing. I wonder if that's so you can power it or, uh, you know, charge your battery or something externally or something. Because I guess that's the thing is that this thing gets pretty hot and uh, drains the battery pretty quick. Well, let's plug it in now. So it says here, push, and there's an up and down. So what does this one do? Oh yeah, it kind of snaps in there. And what's going on in the phone? I don't see it. Oh, there we go. The first thing it tells me to do is take it off. Okay, well, I guess I got to install this stuff. And uh, yeah, what's cool there, the screen turned off when I took my face away. So that's a nice battery saving, performance saving little thing. Okay, so that's it. That's the, that's the Gear VR unboxing. You can get this with the S7 if you pre-order. And, uh, or you can pick it up at Best Buy or anywhere else, I guess, like, you know, it's gonna be pretty u ubiquitous. As uh, far as development goes, I think there's gonna be, I've read some estimates that there's gonna be, you know, a, probably a million of these out there by the, uh, by the end of the year. And, uh, because of the, you know, the giveaway and then also sales, probably towards Christmas and stuff, we'll see more of them. And we'll see how well the S7 sells. So as far as developers go, this is going to be a really interesting platform to develop for because you're going to have access to the storefront in there. And, you know, you've got all the mobile payment stuff set up already. So uh, it should be a pretty interesting platform for developers. Uh, I'm going to be building the Gear VR mini course. So if you want to learn how to develop for the Gear VR, uh, that's going to be at learn.vrdev.school. And you can enroll in that class. I'll be adding courses, figure out how to develop some games and experiences for Unity. Uh, with the Gear VR. So check that out and stay tuned and uh, let's get to playing with this thing and building some experiences.